I think the organization uh, re realistically came into the season with questions about Jalen Hurts. I know it's two weeks. Has he answered them? Robert? Oh, 100% he's answered them. And I think Jalen Hurts has actually played himself into the not-too-early MVP race, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. The Rob guys love every, this. Everything that he is doing right now is, is showing the dividends from the work that he put in the offseason. Jalen Hurts is making every throw imaginable. Deep shots, timing routes on the sideline, touch right over the defenders. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to figure out when are people going to stop doubting Jalen Hurts? This guy, every step of his career has overcome adversity and proved his doubters wrong. The guy is straight out balling, and he's showing you how the impact of having a true number one receiver can really change the fortunes for a young quarterback. Well, which is A.J. Brown coming over. Dan Graziano, you were making the point this morning about the organizational success of the development of a young player. Oh, without a doubt. Look, they draft him in the second round. After they already signed Carson Wentz, they figured Carson's going to be the guy, like, for the future. Uh, but they just, they like this player. They like they thought he could become a starting quarterback in the NFL. Wentz doesn't work out. They elevate him. Oh, we'll see what we've got. He has ascended. He ascended last year. Mm -hmm. He has ascended again this year. I talked to his uh, his quarterback coach, his person, uh, Quincy Avery, who works yeah. with a bunch of these yep. guys. I talked to him before the season started. I said, what difference have you seen in Jalen? He said, confidence. So he's coming into the season with a lot more confidence is reflected in everything he does. I, I think it's wonderful to see because, I, I mean, yeah. going into the season, what, what's he going to show you, right? right. And, and I, I, I believe from talking to people and, and about him and his past, you know, he has the stuff inside of him oh, to yeah. ascend and, and to be great. So to see it, him delivering on it this early in the season, I think is very exciting. So we're going to see Josh Allen in a minute. And Allen, obviously, is the ultimate organizational success story. And the final piece of that puzzle with Josh Allen was bringing Stefan Diggs to <laughs> Buffalo. Could yep. A.J. Brown, does it look to you like A.J. Brown could be that here for Philadelphia and for Absolutely. Jalen Absolutely. Listen, they wanted somebody who was a, wasn't afraid to go across the middle, open up the middle of the field. And, and Graz and I actually talked about this last week. I go back and watch film, and it's exactly what Brown is doing. And what people don't understand is that opens up the entire offense. When you have somebody who's not only going to be your true one, but not afraid to go big body across the middle, make plays, and then yards after the catch, it opens up for the quarter. It gives you confidence that you don't have to make these Im improbable throws outside the numbers. So as you're watching his development, never forget, the easiest pass is the closest pass, and when you got a guy who go get it for you like Brown's doing, it helps your development. You mentioned Quincy Avery earlier, every yeah. quarterback in the league needs to call that man because last year, <laughs> last year, Jalen Hurts was terrible in the pocket and bad against zone defense. That's all he did last night. He, he did. sat in the zone. He yep. sat in the pocket and ate up cover four, ate up cover six, ate up cover two. All the zones just killed him. So whatever the organization is doing, we covered all of that. Whatever he's doing in the offseason, all these other quarterbacks who come in the league and we consider bust, they need to do what he's doing because he's figured it out. He's gotten a lot better in a short period of time. Time. Well this is a Super Bowl caliber team because of it. Well, there's well a phrase that I use a lot, which is that more young quarterbacks in the NFL are ruined than yeah, developed. Yes. When you see it, an organization get it right. I mean, first, give credit to the yeah. players, of yeah. course, yeah. but yeah. give credit to the organization. They seem to be getting this right. And so let's pick up on that thought. Jeff Saturday, the NFC got some question marks. Green Bay didn't look that good. Tampa's yeah. got a million questions about them. The teams out west have injuries and other problems. Are the Eagles the best team in the NFC? They're the best team in the NFC right now. And it's not, it, listen, it's not close. They are a physically dominating mm. football team as well. When you think about offensive line and defensive line, we talked about this at nauseum, and I know Graz loves to talk about I line do. play in the I trenches. But this <laughs> team, not only do they throw it for 330, they run it for a buck 80, and it's like it's no big deal. And again, when you have a quarterback who's part of the run game, like Hurts is, it opens up avenues that other teams don't have. Again, this has all been played. Howard Roseman has done a fantastic job of pieces and parts, but the way it has come together gives Sirianni a ton of credit. He's yeah. got all these guys headed in the right direction. Yeah, we were laughing at Nick Sirianni when they hired him at the beginning of the year last season, but he figured this thing out really quickly. They yes. built an offense around Jalen Hurts the way his skill set was at the time, and they allowed it to develop as they were going forward, and they committed to this guy. To your point, so many teams bring a guy in. If he's not perfect off the bat, they're looking for another quarterback. Right. When the problem wasn't the quarterback in the first place, the problem was you and your organization not <laughs> building around that player and accepting the problem. that he had... Yeah. It's not a big problem. It's, it's, a, you it's, problem. it's, it's, it's not a quarterback <laughs> problem. It's a coach problem and an organization problem. Well, that's why I give Sirianni so much credit because yeah. you see so many Anyways. offensive yeah. coaches and they have a round hole and they're like, no, no, I can't, yeah. I can't put a yes. square peg in here. Mm -hmm. Go find me a round peg. Correct. Instead, he changed the shape of the hole, exactly. said, okay, this is what my quarterback does yep. well. 
this is what we're going to do. They've tailored it to his skill set, yep. and the result is he looks great. Yeah, he looks amazing, and I'm, I'm telling you, that's what great coaches do. They get the most out of their players, and when you talk about Jalen Hurts' ability, he's not just doing it with his legs, but he's seventh in the league in passing yeah. and tenth in the league in rushing. The guy is not shying away from using his legs and going out there and making plays. Yeah. And I just look at this offense, and I'm like, man, if Jalen Hurts is playing like this, this is a Super Bowl favorite type of team because their defense – actually stepped it up last night, and Darius Slay was on fire, Absolutely. shutting down J J Justin Jefferson. Locked and him. not a, Locked him down. I mean, he should have had four interceptions, Neek. I yeah, know that's yeah. why y'all play defense, because oh. y'all can't catch that ball. Well. <laughs> but he should have had four interceptions yes, in that sir. game. And I think that they really showed why people picked them to go to the so Super Bowl. So, what you need to learn as you get used to our group here is that Dan is our resident skeptic. So, <laughs> if they've convinced Dan, Dan, he likes to rain on the parade. Yeah, I the like parade. Jesus. I always Are yeah. the parade Eagles oh. a Super Bowl? team in the NFC right now have they convinced right even now? you Come on, right man. now do don't they look like right now don't. Don't. you got two weeks we were standing over there in like April or May flapping our wings oh, yeah, yeah. Our <laughs> Eagles fly. we can roll that tape I was first on this we the were Eagles. on that train in the you're in. You're yeah, in I mean, look I think Green Bay and Tampa Bay will get better as the year goes along yeah. I, I think the Rams are to be reckoned with but the Eagles they deserve the credit they've, they've looked the best in the NFC so far I mean, and to some degree I think we also we haven't even mentioned their defense in here Cool. That picked yeah, off Kirk loaded. Cousins three times. Now, I'm old enough to remember when we were being told by our buddy Michael Irvin that Kirk Cousins was an MVP candidate well, this season. Uh, yeah. what, what happened with all that, Jeff? Uh, at week two, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like week one was great. They caught the, he caught the Packers. Games. Week two, you saw it come back to life, right? And again, I think they have some pretty good run, but I want to hand it to them a couple oh, times. Here we go. But when you look at this football team, <laughs> Darius Slay, when opposing quarterbacks are going at him, they have a 29% uh, completion of QBR against yeah. him. That's that that tells you, don't throw it his way. We were talking about Howie Roseman. Give him credit. That's two years. Made the Pro Bowl last year, again this year. He is a lockdown guy. When you take away their one, what does their offense look like? And Cousins couldn't find his way out. Well, like Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.